blessings. So, um, quick video. I was just having a uh, uh, a quick chat with one of my bros. Um, and he had brought up uh, a certain teacher by the name of Geno Jennings, um, very prominent uh, pastor. Uh, and uh, you know he, he uh, has a big following, big following. And uh, he had asked if I listened to him. And uh, I had said, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've listened to him before. And uh, he said, listen more. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, he had said something. And, and I said, uh, you know, he, um, he uh, tickles the ear a little bit too much for me. And that's in uh, in reference to a verse uh, in Timothy about turning their ears away from sound doctrine, having itching ears, and whatever, whatever. I was like, he he tickles the ear a little bit too much for me. And I had mentioned uh, something like that to a sister of mine earlier this year. Um, she had brought, a, I believe, who was it? It was one of the big pastors. I forget what his name is. It wasn't Creflo. It was it was the big, the big black dude. I forget what his name is, man. Um, but uh, I was like, nah, I don't, I don't. I said, I said, as time draws near, you know. Uh, I had just said this about two weeks ago. I said this to somebody. I said, people's true colors show. And two major things in life when it comes to weddings and when it comes to death or funerals. People's true colors, you know, show. Um, you can kind of start to weed people out as far as uh, what type of person they really are. Um, it, it really happens. It happens. Um, and the unfortunate events that you, um, you know, have... Uh, death in the family or something like that um people that come around really will show their true colors their their intentions um also weddings now you figure you you liken that in the spirit you know we are the bride of christ and um he's coming back for us amen he's coming back for his bride and the bride is the church not a building we're, t we're talking about the body of Christ, all right? The people, the temples, us. We represent that. He's not taking buildings back in, up into the kingdom of heaven. He's taking us, his bride. And as, t t as, as that time draws near, the, the great feast of uh, the wedding, the, 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 the union, as it talks about in Revelations, you can best believe just as so as it, it it happens in the flesh in the world to where people show their true colors uh, in weddings. You can best believe as the time draws near, people are going to be showing their true colors. Now, the word says you will know them by their fruits. And I told a sister of mine earlier this year, I said, as time gets Closer and closer, people are going to start show, showing their true colors. And and lo and behold, I don't know how many big pastors this year, you know, people who have led people to Christ. You know, scandals have come out, uh, sexual scandals, abuse, you know, f infidelity, things of that nature. Um, and there, uh, some people's doctrine has changed. It's become a little bit more worldly and, and more acceptive of, of things that are going on and aligning themselves with uh, the ways of the world. I'm not going to go into detail of what it is, but if you know what's going on that has a, a prominent hold on the world right now, a lot of the big mainstream pastors and leaders and speakers have aligned themselves um, with this. And... Uh, this Geno Jennings, he aligned himself in a major way with this thing that I'll just 
that, that shall remain nameless for the sake of keeping this video <laughs> on YouTube or whatever platform I put it on right now. Um, he aligned himself um, and supported it. And nah, nah. I, I had listened to him just a couple of times, but I found myself, I was telling someone, I was like, hey, you know, my subscription list on YouTube or people that I, I've listened to before, or whatever, has just dwindled. I've I've just found myself unsubscribing and I'm unsubscribing and unsubscribing. Uh, and I said, I was telling somebody, I was like, hey, when it comes to like false prophets and whatnot, where where are the false prophets that the the word talks about? You know, these people that the word talks about that are going to lead people astray. Um, well, you can only lead astray if you're a leader, if you're prominent. You know, if it says, you know, for the the path is broad to destruction um, and the true followers of Christ are on the narrow path. So you have to figure that the people that are a, a, a prominence of, a, a, of high stature, of um, that are famous and, and highly regarded, these are the people that are out here right in front of you in your face. To lead you astray, it's like uh, that. <laughs> you have to, uh, you have to understand it from that aspect and what the word says. Um, my man, my bro said, uh, you know, Geno Jennings has a lot of truth. You know, it's like, yeah, he does. But uh, the best deception has truth in it. It's like two parts truth, one part lie. If there's a lie in it then that supersedes any uh, uh, um, greater percentage of truth that is, is in the message, is in the, is in the doctrine. Um, absolutely it does. And, and deception is out there in a major way. You know, it's, it's crazy. And I was telling somebody, I was telling a few of my guys earlier, earlier this year, I said, as, as time draws near, I said, our, as we draw nearer to him, um, we should be removing things of the world slowly but surely. It's not like a checklist. It's just something that we, you know, we should be testing the spirits of, of things. And when things don't resonate with the spirit of Christ, it's like an automated thing to where it's like, oh, you just find it's like, oh, I haven't listened to this person because it's not jiving well with my spirit. It, it, it just ain't. Um, and it's uh, it comes natural in the spirit. The, the Holy Spirit really is the uh, the deciding factor is that is that wisdom is that knowledge is. The comforter is is the the knowledge giver and, and understanding of things. And um, he's able to decipher, discern. There you go, discern. And that discernment in the spirit will keep you from being deceived. Um, we're supposed to be, uh, there's a few verses, you know, you know, trust trust not man you know because man will lead you astray the holy spirit will tell you who's who and what's what <clears throat> you will know them by their fruits and a lot of these a lot of these people out here today are really showing their fruits man really in a major way so uh um keep that in mind the best deception the best the best deception always is wrapped in truth there's more truth, but at the core, there is some, there is some, uh, there, there is some uh, deceptive lies mixed in it. And uh, discernment is key. And discernment comes from reading the word, praying, the Holy Spirit, having that one-on-one -on -one with him, you know. And, uh, yeah, so be careful. Be careful of who you are. Uh, who and what you, you align yourself with because you could be aligning yourself with something that's in direct opposition to the Christ that's in you and if it may not jive well with your spirit and before you know it, you're off that narrow path and on that broad path. 